All right, guys, so getting back to the vlogs now. Two weeks is short, it is over. And uh, this next vlog that you guys are gonna see is my trip back home to Indiana. I am leaving Florida, so I can say goodbye to this little house where I've been staying for the past uh, little over two months. Um, but I really have appreciated uh, everybody's support, everybody's help uh, through this entire time while I've been here in Florida. So uh, to everybody that's helped me out, to everybody that uh, has supported me throughout this, thank you so much. Um, but now we are getting into uh, the vlog series again. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, I'll show you guys my trip. All right guys, so on my way uh, out of Florida now, and if you guys saw my uh, initial vlog when I came to Florida, you guys saw that it rained on me the whole time, like continuous from the time I left Indiana until most of the time even through Florida, it just rained and rained and rained on me. Um, and I was really hoping for better, um, for better weather, um, a much clearer forecast this time. I've had my fingers crossed, really been hoping for it. And uh, it was extremely sunny all day today. Got in my car, ready to leave, and look at this. Look at that, did you see that lightning? Like it looks ridiculous outside. It's gonna storm and rain on me again. Hopefully all this passes though, and um, I can have some clear roads uh, as I get into Georgia. But dang, I was really hoping that I wouldn't get rained on this time, but oh well, at least I'm used to it. At least I've got experience with it now. We're watching the fireplace, 4.15 on the clock right now. No luck for me. All right guys, so uh, real quick, I'm going to give you a taste test on the Blue Monsters. I have, uh, I've told you guys many times that the white ones are my favorite. And uh, I did a taste test on the red ones on later days of two weeks to shred it so you guys can go check that out see my opinion on uh, the red ones but I'm going to give this blue one a try now I actually kind of like the red one uh, not as much as the white one but I thought it was pretty good I gave it a four out of five if the white ones are a five out of five so I'm gonna try this blue one see how this tastes after I spill a little bit I thought it was pretty good it uh, tastes a little bit different than the red one. Um, I would say it tastes different than the red one, but it's just as good as the red one. So if you have to pick, um, red and blue are both very good. The white one, in my opinion, is still a little bit better. Um, but I, I'm i impressed with it. I think it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's my opinion on the uh, blue monster. So if you guys want to give those a try, go for it. Just um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know which one's your favorite. Alright guys, so just stopped at a gas station and I picked up one of these uh, monsters, the uh, muscle ones. And I've had these before but I figured I'd give you guys my uh, little review on them. I know I've been doing a lot of uh, reviews on monsters lately but I, I, I drink a lot of them. Uh, I like how they taste. Um, but these monster muscles are actually uh, pretty decent if I do say so myself. This is the vanilla one and these are super good. I've also had a chocolate, also had a strawberry them are they taste amazing and um, the macros on them uh, I'm gonna read you to them real quick um, there are two grams of fat 10 carbs and 13 grams of protein uh, per serving and there's two servings in here so uh, there are 20 carbs and only 26 grams of protein so of course it's not the greatest and uh, the greatest protein shake that's going to have the greatest macros but if you're on the run if you're traveling or anything like I am right now and you're stopping at gas stations and whatnot and you need something that's going to give you a little bit of protein um, unless you get some beef jerky or something uh, these monster muscles are your next best choice and they taste delicious so I definitely recommend those uh, give those a try a lot of places you can actually find them for two for four bucks which is a pretty good deal um, at a gas station at least um, but yeah that's my opinion on the monster muscles uh, give those a try let me know what you think um, I, I think I'm running out of monsters to go and give reviews on but if I find anything else that's interesting I'll let you guys know All 
Alright guys, so it is about, uh, oh it is exactly midnight right now if you can, boom, midnight. It is 12 a.m. and um, I've got, if I can power through this drive, I've got about 9 hours left, 9, 10 hours left. And um, if I decide to stop somewhere and take a nap or sleep a little bit, then it'll be a little bit longer. So I'm actually going to try to power through this trip. Um, and so I stopped here at this gas station and what I got was a Diet Mountain Dew that's gonna help me uh, stay uh, awake a little bit and I got a pack of Skittles uh, that sugar should help me stay awake um, if not just keep me occupied uh, while I eat those um, but uh, as you can see a lot of the stuff I've been eating is uh, not macro friendly so uh, if you're traveling or doing something like this um, and you're trying to count your macros you're probably going to want to um, you're probably going to want to prepare your food beforehand uh, because if you're stopping at gas stations like this and you're trying to uh, find foods that you can fit into your macros it's <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time uh, it's like that meme or whatever but um, yeah I'm not really trying to fit my macros or anything I can I can live with uh, 24 hours or however many hours it takes to get home. I can live with not counting my macros for that long and just uh, eating to get by, eating to stay awake, eating uh, just to get me home. But uh, I'll, I'll get back on track again, um, definitely. Tomorrow, uh, well, I guess today, when I get home, uh, later today, I will, uh, I'll get back to uh, getting the right things back in my system, getting the right things back in my body and uh, definitely start back up into the gym and uh, counting my macros and everything Monday. Um, but I will be hitting maintenance level with my macros. I'll be uh, increasing those a little bit instead of being in a caloric deficit because I am looking forward to putting on some size over the next uh, six to eight months. I uh, definitely want to get a lot stronger. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram post. If you didn't, I want you guys to go follow me on Instagram right now. Um, but I have a couple goals in mind. I want to be able to bench 275 by September 1st. I would like to hit 300 by January 1st. And um, by April 1st or March 1st, March or April 1st, I think March 1st is what I had the deadline set at. I want to hit 315. A goal of mine ever since I started weightlifting has been to uh, hit three plates on bench. Uh, that's definitely something that I want to do. It's definitely something that I think is attainable if I'm in a caloric deficit. Uh, or a caloric surplus. If I'm in a caloric deficit, I'll keep sucking at bench like I have been the past week. Um, but uh, I definitely think that's something that's attainable. So um, yeah, I definitely want to get back in this caloric surplus and start increasing my strength, increasing my size, and uh, really start to make a lot more progress in those two areas. But yeah, here in uh, where am I at now? I'm just I just passed through Atlanta about half hour ago so wherever that puts me but uh, I will uh, see you guys in the next clip Alright guys, so back in Indiana now and uh, filled up for gas for the first time uh, since I left Indiana. Well, not for, I filled up my gas tank plenty of times since, but I filled up my gas tank for the first time in Indiana since I left. And the last time I filled up for gas in Indiana, it was in the mid uh, 60s. So it was like 363 or something like that. Look what I just filled up for. Check that out. 327, that's a good price. That's the cheapest I've got gas anywhere. Uh, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Ohio, anywhere. That's the cheapest I've got gas in a long time. So uh, I'll call that one. I'll take that as a moral victory. All right guys, so after uh, 61 days and exactly a 20 hour trip, I'm finally home. Glad to be home. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, Thanks again for watching.